each of the teams. Thank you so much, Absa Bank, for the money zone. This is a second quarter final contest, and it's going to be featuring Chemu Senior High School. St. Augustine's College. Canton Senior High School. Let's meet the contestants. Canton Senior High School. Canton Senior High School is represented by Anwinusi Timothy Azitiba, second year. Ada Shadrach Niedawai Bakite, final year. You are welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, madam. How are you? We are doing blessed. good. All right, good. I would like to know a little bit about your school, if you don't mind. Canton Senior High School is a mixed school that is located in Tumu, in Upper West Region. Okay. It was established in 1972. All right. The motto is animals a potential. Okay. Which means knowledge is power. All right. That's yes. great. I, I agree that knowledge is power. I, I really believe in that. Okay. So uh, your preparations to come here. I know all students do a lot of things. In your case, what happened? Uh, in fact, we've actually worked hard towards this competition. Yes, we have worked hard, but we are not dependent on our hard work. Yes, because it doesn't take hard work, but it takes the Lord. Because the word of the Lord says that no man shall be able to receive. It is written that no man shall receive unless it is given to that man from above. Yes. And so although we've worked hard, but we are dependent on the Musa. He's the one that makes mighty. Okay. Thank you for that sermon. <laughs> All right. So we'll start shortly. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Chemu Senior High School. <laughs> Chemu Senior High School is represented by Nathaniel Yao Atilusi. Mate Cody Evans. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, madam. How are you? Yeah, Very fine, by God's grace. Good. Anything about your preparations towards this event? We have put in much effort, and like our motto goes, discipline and hard work. So we believe with discipline and hard work, and God's help, we are going to win this. All right. Okay. All the best to you then. Thank, Thank you, madam. madam. All right. St. Augustine's College. St. Augustine's College is represented by Atta Prince, final year. Eli Klimaja, final year. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. How are you? You are fine, fine by the grace of God. That's great. I see that you brought a whole force. <laughs> <laughs> Is that normal for St. Augustine's College? Yes, please. 
Yes. It's normal. Yes, okay. Yes. So I'm sure you get a lot of support from your old students as well. Yes, yes. Any shout outs that you want to do to them? Not yet. Yeah. All right. Okay. What are we expecting today? Nothing but the best from us. All right. I wish you well. Best wishes. Viewers, we've met the contestants. Uh, some of them are a bit more interested in talking. Some just want to get to the business. I think I will hurry. <laughs> All right, but before I sit down to begin, I need to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Bank and supported by Joy News, Goyal, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Airtel Tigo, Dano Milk, Joy Industries, Kiki Juice Drink, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Adansa Travels, Kenya Airways, Zipline, GTP, and YFM. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a prime time production. It is. My name is Elsie Fakoffman. I'm an associate professor of biomedical engineering, University of Ghana and founding head of the Department of Orthotics and Prosthetics, University of Health and Allied Sciences. I am really honored to be your quiz mistress. Thank you. Contestants, the contest as usual comes to you in five rounds. The first round is the round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, a bonus point. If not, there is a penalty, one point. For questions that require calculations, you have 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations involved, you have 10 seconds to do so. All questions, all of them, are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. Um, for this first set of questions, I have a preamble to all schools, after which I will ask um, Chemu to begin, all right? Okay. And you require 30 seconds. Okay, so the preamble to all schools, preamble to all schools. Express the given number as the difference of two squares 
of positive integers. Please, did you get your preamble? Again, express the given number as the difference of two squares of positive integers. All right, so now we are set to go. Chemu, your number is 45. Evans. Seven squared minus two squared. Or yes. No. Again. Seven squared minus two squared or 49 minus four. Yes. With the same preamble, St. Augustine's, your number is 32. Prince. Six squared minus two squared. Yes. <laughs> Canton, with the same preamble, your number is 15. Yes, Shadrach. Four squared minus one square. Yes. Those following from the audience and at home, you will notice that there are multiple options for these, right? Uh -huh. So if you're home, please be working along. You should get at least two other options for each one of these. All right. Next set, 10 seconds. And I have a preamble once again. All right, when I get to your school, I will give you a hormone that affects osmoregulation, okay? So the hormone I give you affects osmoregulation. Mention where the hormone is produced. Please be specific and technical, okay? So mention where the hormone is produced. All right, Chemu, aldosterone. Nathaniel. Next. The adrenal cortex. Yes. <laughs> With the same preamble, antidiuretic hormone. Prince? The adrenal medulla. No, I'm not accepting that. Yes, go ahead. Posterior pituitary gland. Yes. <laughs> With the same preamble, your major question and your hormones you have two of them, epinephrine and noepinephrine. Epinephrine is the medulla of the adrenal, the adrenal medulla, but the nephrine, the non-nephrine, the non-epinephrine is the adrenal cortex. Hmm. I'll give you one. So, yes, it's the adrenal medulla, but that's for both of them. Mm -hmm. The inner portion of the adrenal gland, the inner portion. Okay. All right, next set, 10 seconds. Chemu, how do the atomic number and mass number change when a radioactive element decays by electron emission. Yes, Evans. 
Madame, the mass number remains the same, but the atomic number increases by one. Yes. St. Augustine's, how do the atomic number and mass number change when a radioactive element decays by electron capture? Yes, um, Eliklim. The mass number remains constant, but the atomic number decreases by one. The last bit. The atomic number decreases by one. Yes. <laughs> Canton. How do the atomic number and the mass number change when a radioactive nuclide emits a neutron and gamma ray at the same time? Yes, Shadrach. The mass number decreases by one, whereas the atomic number remains unchanged. You are right. <laughs> All right, next set, 30 seconds. Chemu. A physical pendulum consists of a uniform rod of length L and mass M that is pivoted at one end in a region where the acceleration due to gravity is G. Please give an expression for the period of the pendulum. Yes, Nathaniel? The tension T. Sorry, the period T is equal to 2 pi multiplying the square root of the expression L over G, where L represents the length and no. T. That's incorrect. For well, bonus. Okay, I'll save the answer for now. All right. So, St. Augustine's. The physical pendulum, consisting of a uniform rod of length L and mass M, is pivoted at distance L over 4 from its center of mass. Give an expression for the period in this case. Yes, Prince. The period T is equal to pi multiplying the square root of L on mg, where m is the mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity. That's incorrect for a bonus. I'm saving that answer as well. All right, Canton. The physical pendulum, consisting of a uniform rod of length L and mass M, is now pivoted the distance L over 3 from its center of mass. Give an expression for the period in this case. Shadrach. T is equal to 3m root of L on G. That's incorrect for bonus. All right. Oh. Okay, so I started with you, Chemu, right? The answer is 2 pi multiplying square root of the expression 2L over 3G. Okay? And then for you, St. Augustine's is 2 pi multiplied by the, the square root of the expression 7L over 12G. And for Canton, it's the same answer. 2 pi multiplying the expression square root of the expression 7L over 12G. 
So you see the masses go away, they do cancel out in the end. All right, next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Find the inverse of the given logarithmic function. Find the inverse of the given logarithmic function. Chemu, your function. Y is equal to log to the base A of the expression X minus 2. Is that hand up, Nathaniel? Evans. Madam, y is equal to a exponent x plus 2. Yes. St. Augustine's with the same preamble. y is equal to log to the base 2 of the expression 2x plus 1. Yes, um, Prince? Y is equal to a fraction with numerator 2 to the power x minus 1, all over 2. Okay. <laughs> Canton, with the same preamble. Y is equal to 2 multiplied by log to the base 3 of the expression x minus 3. Yes, Shadrach. y is equal to three to the power x plus three over two. No. Who, who rang? Okay, go ahead. Y is equal to 3 exponent x on 2. That expression plus 3. Okay. Ten seconds. This is one of those questions where I move round gathering right answers. Hmm? I move round gathering right answers. And so uh, when I get to you, please give me a right answer so I can move on for the next right answer. No bonus. Okay. And please, I'm going to penalize for something. So pay attention. This is a question or preamble. State one, and I mean it, only one. If you give multiple, I will penalize. State one of the ways in which the absorbing surface of the small intestine is increased. All right, so Chemu, first choice. Yes, Nathanel. The presence of the villi in the small intestine increases the surface area for the absorption of food in the small intestine. Yes. St. Augustine's, yes, Prince? The small intestine is long in length. That is, it has a longer length. And then this increases the surface area available for absorption. Yes. Canton. The inner lining cells is one cell thick. That is, the microvilli is one cell thick. Hence, the surface area is increased. No. All right. 
So there are actually four of them. That was why I was so concerned about somebody saying multiple. All right, so there are four of them. So first one is by being very long, that's what we got from you, uh, St. Augustine's. The next is by having internal folds. So it folds over, in, and that will increase the surface area. And then uh, Chemu gave us by having villi, right? And then the last one is the presence of microvilli on the epithelial cells. Not just that they are one cell thick, but they actually also have these microvilli on each one of those cells. Okay? All right. So that is what was expected. Thank you. All right. Next set, 10 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Once again, I'll be going around because it's one question. Mm. So the preamble or question. Methane reacts with chlorine gas in the presence of light to give chloromethane. Give any one, any one reaction that is either a chain initiation step or a chain propagation step. So you tell me which one you are given and then you give it. All right. And again, first choice goes to Chemu. Yes, Evans. Madam, the chain initiation step where the Cl2 breaks down to form the Cl with charge, two Cl with charge on top of them. That Cl2 going to Cl minus plus Cl minus. I'm not going to accept that. I'm moving on. Yes. Go ahead, Prince. So for the chain initiation step, we have a Cl2 molecule going into two chlorine free radicals. That's one chlorine atom with a free radical and another chlorine atom with a free radical. Yes. <laughs> All right. Canton. Yes, Shadrach. Chain propagation step. That is CH4 plus chlorine radical going to give us CH3 radical plus hydrogen HCl. Yes. Okay. So the third one, which is left. It's also a chain propagation step. And that is a methyl radical plus chlorine molecule to give chloromethane and chlorine radical. Okay, so I was expecting a, a reaction. Okay, 30 seconds. Chemu, a flat square loop of side 4.0 centimeters lies in the XY plane. Determine the magnitude of magnetic flux through the loop produced by the uniform magnetic field B, which is equal to negative 8.0 Tesla I plus 2.0 Tesla K. Yes, Evans. Madam, okay. 96 Weber per second. That's incorrect. For bonus. The right answer is 3.2 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 Weber. All right, St. Augustine's, a flat square loop of side 5.0 centimeter lies in the XZ plane. 
determine the magnitude of magnetic flux through the loop produced by the uniform magnetic field B, which is equal to negative 8.0 Tesla I plus 3.0 Tesla K. Yes, Prince. The magnetic flux is 2.1 by 10 to the exponent negative 2 Weber. That's incorrect. For a bonus. <laughs> ah. The right answer is zero. Canton. Another flat rectangular loop of sides 4.0 centimeters by 3.0 centimeters lies in the YZ plane. Determine the magnitude of magnetic flux through the loop produced by the uniform magnetic field B, which is equal to negative 8.0 Tesla I plus 2.0 Tesla K. Timothy, two, Point four milliweber. That's incorrect for bonus. Belled out. The right answer is nine point six times ten raised to the power negative three weber. Next set, 30 seconds, with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. A particle is moving in a straight line from a point O to a point A with constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. The velocity at A is 30 meters per second, and it takes 10 seconds from O to A. Find. Please, did you get your preamble? One more time. A particle is moving in a straight line from a point O to a point A with a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. The velocity at A is 30 meters per second, and it takes 10 seconds from O to A. Now find. All right. So, Chemu, the initial velocity at O. Yes, uh, Nathanel. The initial velocity is zero meters per second. You are right. <laughs> St. Augustine's, the distance from O to A. Eliclim. 150 meters. Yes. The initial velocity at O, if the velocity at A is 48 meters per second, and it takes 12 seconds from O to A. Shadrach. 12 meters per second. You are right. All right. Ten seconds, and I have one of those questions again. I'm going to go around one more time. Okay? All right. So this is the question of preamble. 
and I'm going to be uh, strict again. Okay? So give one, only one characteristic of a comb of cocoa yam. One characteristic of a comb of cocoa yam. Chemu, first choice. Yes, Nathanael. A comb of cocoa yam has scale leaves which are present on the structure when it is underground. I'm not accepting it. I'm moving on. Yes, uh, Prince. The presence of birds. I'll give you one. Canton. It does. Adventitious rules. One. <laughs> okay, so these are the characteristics. It is vertically oriented. It bears many adventitious roots toward the base. Okay, so not just anywhere, adventitious roots, many of them towards the base. It bears circular nodes. It bears foliage leaves. Lateral bats are quite conspicuous. So just telling me bats, I was not too impressed with that. I wanted to hear lateral bats, which are very conspicuous. Okay. It does not bear depressions, and combs of the successive years persist and generally lie around or above the older ones. Okay. All right. Next set, 30 seconds. Chemu, what mass of magnesium tetraoxosulfate 6 heptahydrate is needed to prepare a 400 centimeter cube solution of 0 0.150 mole per decimeter cubed concentration? Atomic mass of magnesium is 24.0. Sulfur is 32.0, oxygen is 16.0, and hydrogen is Yes, Nathanel. 14.8 grams. You are right. <laughs> St. Augustine's. Calculate the mass of copper tetraoxosulfate 6 pentahydrate needed to prepare a 250-centimeter cube solution, which is 0 0.450 mole per decimeter cubed, with respect to copper 2 plus ions. Atomic mass for copper is 64.0, sulfur is 32.0, oxygen is 16.0, and hydrogen is 1.00. Yes, Alec Lim. 27.9 grams. That's incorrect. Um, yes, go ahead. 28.1 grams. You are right. <laughs> uh, 
Canton. Calculate the mass of sodium trioxocarbonate for decahydrate needed to prepare 500 centimeter cube solution, which is 0 0.240 mole per decimeter cubed with respect to sodium plus ions. Atomic mass for sodium is 23.0, for oxygen is 16.0, for carbon is 12.0, and for hydrogen it's 1.00. been bailed out for a bonus. Okay, go ahead, uh, Prince. 17.2 grams. 17.2 grams. Yes. <laughs> Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds, please, with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. An ideal gas is made up of monoatomic molecules of molar mass 18.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 kilogram per mole. That was the preamble. Please, did you get it? Yes, you did. Good. So now, uh, Chemu. Find the temperature at which the mean speed of gas molecules is 800 meters per second. Yes, Evans. 110 Kelvin. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 544 Kelvin. St. Augustine's. Find the temperature at which the root mean square speed of gas molecules is 800 meters per second. Yes, Prince. The temperature is 450 Kelvin. That's incorrect for a bonus. The right answer is 462 Kelvin. Last question with the same preamble, Canton. Find the temperature at which the most probable speed of gas molecules is 810 meters per second. Timothy. 135 Kelvin. Mm -mm. For a bonus. The right answer is 710 Kelvin. And with that, we've come to the end of the first round.
St. Augustine's College has 21 points. And Chemu Senior High School has 22 points. Four more rounds to go.